Hello friends, this is Melissa at Buckeye Girls Lifestyle. This is hashtag Fall Oween 2024. Our hosts are House of Nobility and Buffy's Designs. Please check out their channel in my description box and the amazing playlist of other creators for more fall and Halloween ideas. Teeny apple bread. I hope you enjoy and I hope you try the recipes. They turned out delicious. This is our recipe. It's apple zucchini bread. Okay, one stick of melted butter. We are going to do one teaspoon of cinnamon. Looks like I need to get some cinnamon. One teaspoon of baking powder. One teaspoon of baking soda. One teaspoon of vanilla. We're doing two eggs. Now we're going over to the sugar and we're doing a half a cup of brown sugar. And of course, you know, when you do brown sugar, make sure it's packed. Just push it down and plop it in. And then we're doing a half a cup of white sugar. And then we're gonna mix, start to mix this. see what, what we've got to do next. I'm going to do two cups of, of flour. Ooh. Don't knock it off the table. Looks like I almost did. Off the counter, I mean. Now we're going to add two cups of flour, which I just filled my canister. going to add one cup of zucchini. Which if you're like me, I froze that from the summertime, but I'm still getting zucchini. So we, we still got a ton of zucchini out there and it's still fresh and local, you can get zucchini right now here in Ohio. Um, now we're going to add one grated apple. So we're going to be back. Okay, now we're going to grate one apple. So one medium apple.
keep rotating and try not to get the core. I think that's good. We're going to add our one grated apple, medium apple in to our bread mixture. really good okay let's spray our baking dish which is a low pan actually these low can pans came from the Dollar Tree I thought they'd be nice because they had the tops for if I, when I send it to work Looks like I have enough I could take out and put a little bit in a small or loaf pan. It said one loaf pan, but I don't, I think that's gonna, I, it might be one and a small one. See, that that's better. And then I did had enough for just one more loaf pan for a small one. So I can freeze a couple little ones because I'm doing two batches and I can send this to work with my husband and his friend. Okay, we are starting off with this recipe right here for Halloween and fall. It's our pumpkin cookie recipe. And we are going to do something a little, re, not make it our own. We're going to make this our own because I'm not going to add the raisins. Instead, I'm going to substitute the raisins for chocolate chips. They are the same color, right? So that's going to work. But this is out of our Betty Crocker's cookie book. And we are going to do her the pump the the pumpkin cookies, which is the Halloween. We are going to start by I'm going to add my baking soda, so my baking powder, so it gets good and mixed in. And then I'm going to do one and a half cups of brown sugar. Make sure to pack it when you put it in. Then we're adding one can of pumpkin puree. Okay, we'll add our pumpkin puree. And I just spilled it down the side of the mixer. 
That makes it better, right? Okay, we're going to add two eggs. One, a half a stick of butter, or you can use shortening. And then we're going to start this to mix. spices. I couldn't find nutmeg in my in my spice cabinet. So we're going to not add that. But if you wanted to, I think 2 teaspoons of apple pie spice would be just fine. 1 teaspoon of cinnamon and a half a teaspoon of Let's make sure it's right. Ginger. Okay, we're going to add one cup of flour. And three fourths cup of flour. Okay, we're going to add one cup of chocolate chips. This is our substitute for the raisins because we're not big raisin fans. But if you love raisins, put it in there. Okay, now we're going to add one cup of chopped pecans. But if you like walnuts better, you could, this would be really good, I think, with walnuts in it, too. Just whatever you have on hand there and what you prefer. Gonna just scoop these. I don't know what that was. On to our cookie sheet. I don't like the texture of that. I may add a, about half a cup of flour. I don't like the feel of it. It feels like it's going that these are gonna run everywhere. Now that's better. I added about a half cup more flour because it just felt too, too moist. It would have been perfect for if I was doing bread with this. Our oven is preheated to 400 degrees, and we're going to bake these for, let's see, 12 to 15 minutes. 